today we are going to make some banana bread because nobody ate the bananas that I bought. So we're starting off by mashing our bananas. We've got three ripe bananas in here. That's all the recipe calls for, so I'm not sure what we're gonna do with these two yet. But Sylvie's mashing those, and then we'll move on to the next step. So we're gonna spray our pan, and I preheated the oven to 325. So we took the side off of Aubrey's crib and made it into a toddler bed, and she was just up playing during nap time. I didn't hear her at all, and her room's a mess. So now she's hugging me because she knows that I'm going to be angry. So you want to help us make banana bread? Say hi. Say hi to the camera. Oh, sorry. Kid. So since we don't have any mixing bowls, I'm gonna use a pot. <laughs> and we need sugar, I think. These things are really tall, so they like block everything. Though. And I'm confused on the butter. Is it melted butter or the heck? Cream sugar and butter together until light and fluffy. I think I don't think it would be um, melted butter. I just had to make sure I didn't do that. <laughs> so while she is doing that, I guess I'm gonna. There's still some clumps. doing this right. Can you guys see that? It's what is going on. Light. It's not really light and fluffy. It's kind of heavy and clumpy. So the butter mixture which was a Can I crack the eggs? Yeah. Which was a half a cup of butter which was a stick and then a cup of sugar. So you, then we're gonna crack one egg into it. It's cold. And it's mix big. it. And then we'll add that was nice. And then we'll add the second egg and mix that as well. It looks like this. I feel like they're overkilling it with the eggs, but I guess we'll see. A tablespoon of almond milk, because we don't have regular milk, that's what it calls for. I'm gonna add the mashed bananas in here. Yeah, so you put a tablespoon of milk in, which I'm just gonna add all the cake. That looks good. Sugar, this is, or flour. This is half cup, so I'm gonna do four. It's okay, baby. So now that she's had a mental breakdown, that's awesome. So we will need one teaspoon of baking powder and baking soda and salt. I'm just gonna use these little teaspoons. You know, it's not exact measurements, but. Mine, we do have cinnamon, so we're just going to. Cinnamon. I dumped way too much. I think it only calls for like a teaspoon of cinnamon. Um, yep, teaspoon of cinnamon, but you live life on the edge, so. Mix that together. And then we're gonna add the dry ingredients into the wet and mix that all together. Clean up our area, put it in our non-existent loaf pan. This is a small baking dish, but it's all we have, so I kind of I'm hoping it'll turn out like brownies would. Like I can cut them like brownies instead of like bread. So we'll see. It looks a lot better than it was actually. Before it was. <laughs> it's not like I have I ever made banana bread, I've only made it one time before. Um, it didn't turn out the greatest. It was like chunky and stuff. So I'm hoping that this will turn out better. Yeah, it was really chunky before. <laughs> It does. All right, so we're gonna pour it in to our greased pan. Oh, yep. <laughs> Remember when I when I asked if it was when it's done, we'll show you the finished product, and we'll let you know how it tastes. We'll see you then. I just wanted to show you guys the finished product of the banana bread. Looks pretty good. I'm excited to try it, and we hope to see you in our next video. Bye.